I thought I should make a quick video showing off this vector system. This is a Vector Graphics 3 computer. It's a Z80 based computer um, from uh, the, it would have been about 1979, 1980. Um, and uh, I didn't see any other uh, videos online with this system featured, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to show it off. I've restored this computer, um, put some new uh, power supply capacitors in, I replaced uh, the capacitive foam and foil on the keyboard, uh, cleaned the floppy drive system, had to replace a RAM chip that had gone bad, CPU had gone bad. Uh, so I put a lot of work into this and I'm very proud of it at this point. So we'll go ahead and power it on and show you how it works. So power switches in the back. And it boots to a ROM monitor, which allows you to select what you're going to boot off of. And in this case, we're going to boot off of the 5 megabyte hard drive. Okay, there we go. Vector Graphic 56K CPM. CPM is the operating system. We'll take a look at the directory. For those of you who are familiar with DOS, it's a little bit like DOS, but it predates it. And I'm going to run a sales demo for you, Flash 11. This would have been used probably in a computer store uh, to sell the computer, show off its features. I believe this one might be for a Vector Graphics 4 system. This, uh, um, I actually think it's just showing off a whole bunch of different systems that they were selling at the time. Yeah, this is a VIP, the Vector 3 VIP. Vector Graphics is interesting. It was founded by um, a pair of women in California. Um, and was one of the you know first female owned and operated uh, computer companies. So a bit of a landmark company in that respect. So you can see that it's capable of slightly better graphics than you'd see on similar S100 systems of the late 70s and early 80s. Um, though still limited when compared to something like the Apple II. It's a little bit more similar to like a, a TRS-80 in terms of what it, what it can do graphically. It has a double-sided, double-density uh, disk drive. It's actually, um, I believe, like a quad-density drive. It does 660 kilobytes on one disk, which is pretty cool for its time. It is hard-sectored, though, so disks are hard to come by. Love that. Look at that animation. Just great. So I'll, I'll stop it here and show you a game too. So we'll jump to the monitor, which we'll turn to CPM, and uh, we'll run Snake. This is a simple Snake game. Let's go level one. Uh, oops, I'm just gonna run right into the wall. Yes, try it again. So anyway, I can't use the controls because I'm using my phone at the same time. It's like nearly impossible. But as you can see, I get back and forth, up and down, catch all the blocks. So we can somehow, ah, no. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Vector Graphics Three. Really a business computer from uh, 1980. 82 would have been when this was used most commonly. 
fairly rare, really cool to have.